Let's talk about our dog's ears. Dogs' ears are prone to infections, especially dogs that have real floppy ears like Sharpe's or, or, or small ears like this that can't ventilate and can't dry out if they, if they get wet inside. Most co causes of um, ear infections are obviously diet related, they can be medically related, but they can also be related to just a fungus growing in the dog's ear. As always, I tell you, if your dog has an ear infection, see a veterinarian and get it checked out. But keeping your dog's ears clean is your responsibility. So your dog can't clean his own ears. There's no way his tongue can reach his ears. So you'll see that sometimes when you have two dogs, you'll notice that one of those dogs is always licking the other dog's ears obsessively trying to clean them. This can be a good thing or a bad thing because too much moisture, again, in the ears can cause fungal type infections. There are several different thoughts of what you can use to clean your dog's ears. There's a lot of topical solutions on the market you can use. And there's a discussion between using alcohol in your dog's ears or peroxide or none. The, the, there's no one who will argue that just keeping your dog's ears clean with a, with a clean cotton ball is not the best thing to do. So I'm going to show you how to do that to start with. So I like these cotton squares because they tend to work a lot better than a cotton ball. And they're simply just like two by two inch squares of cotton that we take and we put them inside the dog's ears with our finger, as deep as we can go with our finger and pull out and you'll see there's a little tiny bit of dirt. And that's really all you should be doing with your dog's ears. Never, never, never put a cotton swab in your dog's ears or force anything into your dog's ears at all. It should be done with your finger and a cotton pad, just like this. So you'll see that with a German Shepherd, a Malinois, any big dogs who have big ears, I can just take the cotton ball or the cotton pad here and shove it into my dog's ears and start to dig in. I know, you love it. I know, I know, it feels good. It feels so good. Like that, and you'll see that that'll come out clean. So if I take a little bit of rubbing alcohol and put it onto the cotton pad, it's gonna give me a little bit more cleaning power, so to speak. So again, I'm gonna take it now, it's moist. I'm gonna put it right here in my dog's ear, and it's not damp enough or wet enough to dribble any alcohol in, but I can still clean and clean and clean, and you'll see now, I'm going to get a little bit more dirt out of the ears. And remember, on top of the ears here is where a lot of this dirt will form. It'll get into the ear and it'll hang out here until it works its way down into the canal. And you'll see that as much as I rub this, he actually really loves it. And you'll see how much more dirt I can get out of there. And he's really clean. We just cleaned him the other day. We just bathed him the other day. But um, any active dog is going to get um, dirt in their ears. A real important thing to note is when you use one cotton square for one ear, when you go to the next ear, discard this cotton square and take a brand new clean one for the other, for the other ear. Don't reuse one ear pad to the other ear because if he does have an infection, you'll, you can spread it between both ears and that's uh, a nightmare. So we cleaned his right ear with that cotton square We'll take this cotton square and put it in his left ear. And again, you can see, I mean, I've got my finger almost all the way in there and he's, he's just loving it because it feels good to him. He can't get his fingers in there. And the dog's ear canals, if you're massaging them, you can feel if you put your thumb against the dog's skull, you can massage real tightly here and that'll loosen up a lot of wax buildup if the dog has um, any wax in his ears or any dirt in his ears. And also after swimming, it's a good idea to give your dogs a good ear massage. They love it for one, and two, it'll break up any bacteria, and then they do that. So if I can rub like this, rub, 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 as much as I rub, as soon as I let go, he'll generally shake his head off afterwards. There you go, shake it off. There you go, good boy. 